House 99 product review. Brought to you by Billy Hope, aka Wannabe David, with Octavia, aka Wannabe Posh. Hello, puppets. It is I, the one and only David Beckham, the D Man. Uh, and I'm here with obviously my beautiful, beautiful wife, aka Victoria Beckham, aka Posh, aka Victoria Posh Spicer. We are here to go over my new product, House 99 Collection. And in fact, wife, you're not wearing any trousers, so let's just cover you up with a shameless plug of my House 99 Collection as your skirt or pants. I am here today to go over the House 99 product review. I'm holding a light like this to look extra intense in the moment. And I cannot wait. We have skincare, we have hair care, we have beard care, oh my god. And we have all of the above. And so I'm here as Billy, aka Wannabe David, with Posh, aka Octavia. I'm here sweating like crazy right now because, you know, you just gotta do it for the look sometime. Uh, I'm wearing a turtleneck and I'm wearing a leather jacket on top of it. So you know what, I'm gonna take this off, but I had to be on brand. At first I just had on like a Hawaiian t-shirt, but then I looked up, I was curious on what David Beckham actually sounds like, and he was wearing a black turtleneck and I thought, light bulb moment, I need to be on point with David Beckham. And I had her in some like gray galaxy space thing from Halloween. And I figured, no, can't do Victoria dirty like that. She has to be in something sparkly and dazzling. She doesn't have pants because it's way too complicated to put those on her. So she has a fanny pack instead that's meant to go down to cover the crotch. But sometimes you just gotta roll with it. When I think like throughout my mind of who is cool, I automatically think like David Beckham would be up there. Like it would be number one, like James Bond, Batman, David Beckham somewhere on that list. Cause he just has that like effortlessly cool thing. We have a bunch of different products that I am actually gonna be trying out. So they range from face to skincare, to hair products, to beard products. And really it's just like overall men's hygiene. I am excited to jump in. Now I have to admit, I did start to use some of these. I wanted to film this right away and like unbox everything, but I was a little excited, so I got started early. Sorry, not sorry. The words of Demi, Lovato. Don't, don't fall now. To get started, we have a little bit of skincare that we're gonna try out first. So number one, we're gonna go in with the eye balm because we don't wanna look tired. We wanna look nice and refreshed. All right, so we have a bit of a thick consistency for this eye balm. It kind of looks like it would be like pimple cream or something. Now I'm gonna go in, put that on under the good old eyes. Hey, it glides on nice. This feels good. I'm about it. Part two, face moisturizer. Okay, so this is nice and smooth. Uh, I like the consistency a lot more than the eye balm. I love a nice thin moisturizer compared to something that's too chunky. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells clean. And masculine. Moving on and keep it, you know, skincare related, we have a toner. Now this I already started to use, as you can see, and I absolutely love it. So every single time I shave, I've been putting this on. I have super sensitive skin, so it actually, it helps a lot in soothing it and, um, you know, helping me avoid getting razor bumps because nobody has time for razor bumps. And to put it on, at first I was a little confused because I didn't know, like, you know, just throw it on, slap it on, back out on my foot but exactly that. So I go in, I put a little bit on my hands, work it in, and then I go into where I just shaved, but it's absolutely wonderful. I love it. And I don't just use it for my face. I also use it for the body too. So, you know, shave the chest, shave the stomach, shave the butt, keep it smooth and consistent. And for that, I just, basically I act like this is like a Parmesan cheese and I just like sprinkle it all over, all over, you know, cover the creases. The creases are important, man. Now, to keep it on brand with skincare, I want to go over one of my favorite products, aside from the toner that we have so far, uh, which is the moisturizer, but there's actually a slight tint to it, so it just makes you look naturally sun-kissed. Now, this, as you can see, I've been using, and it looks orangey, uh, and at first I saw it and I got a little nervous just because, as you can see, that it's very pigmented. But you only need a little, and as you put it in between your fingertips and you begin to blend it out on your face, the orangeness goes away, and it actually makes you look like you were flush and like you were just in the sun and you got a little bit of a glow, like a little bit, you know? You know what I'm saying, Posh? She, she knows what I'm talking about. And I absolutely love it. It's nice to put on something, especially first thing in the morning, if you wanna feel like you, oh, I have a little bit of a glow within to show the world how I feel, like I'm a sparkling diamond. It 
That's how I do it. That's how we roll. That arm, I was trying to get to do something, but that arm's broken, so it's hanging on by a thread, so just one right now. Now, aside from face skincare, there are a few different beard products. Now, I don't have a lot of facial hair, but one of them right here is a beard oil. I have not used this before, so we will give this a shot. And I'm uh, just gonna put a little bit on the finger, put it on like my literally baby, baby, baby hairs that I do have on my face right now. And, uh, ooh, it's, it, Smells good too. What I like about this line so far is everything has a nice clean scent to it where it smells masculine and clean. It does, it's not overkill. It's not like you just put Axe in a bottle and then put it on your face where it's a bit of an overkill because that's never a good time for anybody. But that that's, that's very nice, that's very nice. You know, I feel like if I did have a longer beard, I do this. Maybe I'll put some on her thirsty wig. You know, maybe that would help her out. It is a bit greasy afterwards. Like I feel like I just ate a little french fries. World domination, franchise, anyone? Now, next up on the beard category, we have a beard and hair balm. I guess maybe this is for styling your beard. Uh, I do not have facial hair that's long enough. So we will we will have to demonstrate on my, love, my lovely, lovely wife behind me. Nice little pasty, gluey kind of consistency. And let's see. Wife, you don't mind, right, Posh? No, I don't think you did. Okay. Let's try to do it up like a little bit of a handlebar mustache. Magnificent! Honey, do you mind coming down to show the camera? Okay, it's not about you today. God, always trying to steal my light, my shine. Come on. God, what am I gonna do with her? So to move on now, we have hair product. There is a gel that's a pretty go standard go-to and a pomade that I have and a smoothing cream. So I really don't know what a smoothing cream means. I'm assuming it just means to like maybe get the little baby hairs, but I use gel for that anyways. Uh, this right here is a nice pomade. Smells good too. It's not a super gluey consistency, but my finger just glides right on. I have used it before. I used it this morning actually. And it does work at building up slowly but surely the volume in the front. You know, you want the poof to be high. You want it to look like it's excited. Excuse me. Even David Beckham sometimes can burp a little tidbit. I call it a little rumbling, the upstairs tumbly, if you know what I mean. Finishing cream. All right, I, this is what the smoothing cream that I was talking about. My hands are very sticky at this point. Light hole, natural finish. Again, we have another white cream. Smells good like everything else. Smooth this baby away. Like, do I look smooth away? Do a little bit in the wife's hair too. Oh, I didn't show the styling gel. Bada boom, bada bing. This reminds me of that gel that I used to get as a kid at from Walmart that would be all different random colors. You know, do you guys know what I'm talking about? I love that gel. But anyways, it's nice. I like to use it on my sides too to keep the sides down. It's not a crazy strong hold, but it gets the job done at the end of the day. Again, we will use my lovely, my lovely wife assistant here to demonstrate because I don't need anything really smoothed out at the moment. But let's try, let's try for strength. Okay. Smells good like everything else. But thank you so much for watching my little video. Overall, absolutely love the product line. And it's not just because David is very cool and I feel like I want to be him. But I absolutely love the product line. I think the products are really easy to use. They're quick, convenient. The consistency is really nice. And they are Billy and Porsche, aka Octavia approved. Zigga zigga. Thank you. They are fake David Beckham, Beckham, Bockham, Urban Reckham, Bucker Bucker, and uh, Posh Spice approved. Right, darling. Good eye. Nope, that's Australian. But the bonjour is French. Uh, hello. Hello, puppet. Hello, love. Hello, what's up? It's me, D-Man. David Beckham. The one and only. Just kidding, I wish I was as cool as him. Oh, Victoria, you're looking awfully lovely. Looking beautiful, darling. Absolutely stunning. Do you have anything you'd like to say? I love David Beckham so much. Spice Girls forever. Spice up your life, every boy and every girl. Spice up your life, every people in the world.
commence earthworm I am about this turtleneck look. I feel actually really classy and smart. Like, I could just look very sophisticated doing absolutely nothing. I could go grocery shopping and I feel like I'd naturally just be like, I'm so sensitive and autistic and so cultured and nobody else would understand. Or I'd drink like a glass of champagne and I'd be like, the champagne is burnt. Take it back. Please. Because I'm not a jerk, okay? Ziggy's like, aww. Ha ha ha.